So how does a cold front or a weather front or some type of temperature change, how does that affect deer movement? There have been some results that suggest, again, there are some, uh, some subtle changes will happen. One thing I want to point out is that, you know, a, a deer is going to move every day. A deer has to fill its rumen, you know, every day, a couple times a day, and so a deer is going to move around to do that. So it has to move to acquire food. So you got to always keep that in mind as the baseline. Deer are going to move every day. What we have found in studies we have done is that, again, we, we will see some increased activity, but it's always associated with extreme events. During this particular time of year that you're hunting, if it's November and the average is 60 degrees, if it's 50 degrees, then you're probably not going to see that big of a difference. But what we found is that the extremes had to be really, really large. Like I'm talking about uh, a 10%, you know, only 10% of the temperatures were, were of this value. So 90% of the time, we didn't really see any change. But on these really extreme, you know, really, really cold, really, really windy, uh, real severe change in, in barometric pressure, things like that. We did see some, some increases in deer movement, but you got to think too about what I do and what we do statistically. You know, as a wildlife biologist, we may say, yeah, there was an increased difference based on this weather event, but it's still not enough to motivate me to pick a particular day or not to hunt, at least with the information that we have now. So instead, I'm kind of looking at where's the wind coming from and is it going to keep my scent from disturbing deer.